Hi guys, welcome back. We just got over here to uh, check on the cows before it gets dark. I'm gonna just came to make sure everybody's uh, still in and that the new ones are acclimating. So I'm just gonna grab them some grain and we'll take them to them and see how they're doing. Seven hundred pound animal, and they're afraid of a two-year-old. <laughs> it's funny you can definitely the tell the ones we have had are this one, eight, nine, and, and ten that just went over there. That's the ones that we have had, and they're of course really used to the grain, so they know what it is, and they um, come immediately. The one I'm a little bit surprised is that one on the end there, fifteen that she came over and got it right away. Um, Cause out of the ones that we just got, if any of them were gonna come immediately, I would think it would be that one over there, I think is 16. Um, she's the other one that's very friendly, so I would think she would come. And our little steer here, who got on the wrong side of the fence somehow, so I'm gonna have to go up here and let him in. That won't be hard though. Hi buddy. Or what are you just gonna walk under? Oh, guess not. <laughs> I better go up and let him in so he can have some. What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? Don't touch that fence. Come on, bud. Oh, stay back, sweetie, so we don't scare him. We want him to come in the fence. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Let's just step back. I think he's a little bit scared. She's a baby one? Okay, we're going to help the baby get in. Can you hold my hand? Here, let's walk back this way a little bit. Come here, little Come on. Now we're gonna walk towards her, him, <laughs> and uh, see if he'll go in the gate. Okay? Good girl. Oh. He's so soft. This one was uh, bottle fed, so he's very friendly. Atta boy. All right. Go have some grain before they eat it all. They've been really liking, we had a couple of the silage bales out when they got here and they've been uh, pretty excited about that. So that's good. Anyway, everybody's where they're supposed to be now. I don't see any place. I, I look down, I don't see the fence down anywhere. I'm guessing he just went under it because he wasn't used to the electric. So, not a big deal. What are you doing with the bucket? I have a gift too. But I have a I have a to a gift to have it. Is it is the hay or get up the hurry? Is it get the dog time? 
You you got the cow some hay for dinner time? Yeah. We are Oh, we have to hurry? Yeah, we have to hurry. Why, why do we have to hurry? We have to hurry. It's getting dark. Oh, we have to hurry because it's getting dark? Yeah. So we have to take the cow some hay with the bucket? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Good job. <laughs> You gonna put it in there? Can it help a little bit? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, there's still some more in there, huh? There. You think the cows are gonna like that? Do you think we can put the bucket back in the? Well, we're over here. <laughs> I'm gonna run over to the garden here real quick and see if my greens are still alive that I planted the other day. It's been, I guess, exactly a week um, since I planted them. And we've had three frost nights since then. So I am curious to see how they did since they didn't get a lot of time to get really thoroughly established. All right. So the shard. You want to talk to it? Okay, what do you want to say? Sorry. Hi. I <laughs> um, So the shard's a little bit more tender than some greens, I think. Um, not sure like what temperature it's supposed to be able to tolerate, but some of the outer leaves are looking pretty wilty, but some of the, some of them are still definitely just completely fine so good happy with that um the let's see them this was okay that's all shard this uh is the collards and it's fine again you know some of those earlier leaves but you know i think those were gonna die anyway basically after transplanting um but yeah they're still completely fine um the hmm these few dino kale that I put on the front looks like it gave those a little bit of a harder time. Um, not sure if that'll come back or not. Maybe. If that uh, little inner one. Eh, eh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, this one really kind of looks like toast. Don't have high hopes for that. But the red Russian kale looks good. I had four of those. Those all look pretty good, with the exception of this one up here. And that'll probably still be fine. It looks like it gave it a little bit of a hard time, but those inner leaves is getting dark. It's hard to see, but um, that innermost leaf still looks pretty okay. So eh, we'll see. This one little cabbage plant mm. is doing fine. It looks great. Uh, looks like the uh brussels sprouts so though it's scary yeah it's getting a little dark yeah yeah we're just gonna be here a couple more minutes um there were five and it looks like the frost pretty much nipped that so it must be those aren't quite as hardy as the greens um which you know i didn't know i've never grown brussels sprouts before so anyway it looks like as long as we don't get any hard freezes we'll still probably get some greens this fall if they can do a little more growing so that'll be great you know anything we get is better than nothing so anyway what you doing <laughs> are you being silly <laughs> I can't get down really soon. You can't get down really soon? Yeah, I can get down and that's when and then I'm my and daddy and I'm probably a movie and so they pick me up and up a judge. They pick you up? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for hanging out with us for a few minutes. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>